go. Greetings, Scope Processors, Ian here with Verbal Processing, and I am back, and I am back with the game of the week, Tuesday, Psychonauts, Game of Dynavik. Yeah, here we go. Now, I was pointed out to me in the comments by Ticker Explorer, Ticker Explorer, and somebody else whose name is slightly frickin' covered up, which is very annoying right now. There we go. Mavi222. That uh, I just needed to start up my Xbox 360 controller before starting up the game, which I should have known better about, but didn't. Let's see. Now, I'm, I'm still working out where the keys are all bound as far as the controller is concerned. There we go. Y is the equivalent of F. And, but it's worth it. It is well worth it. Levitators. It plays much better like this. And it does work right out of the box, so that was my mistake. Oh, you know that cabin is empty, right? Duh. I'm practicing for tonight, when it's gonna be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice. Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? See, the disturbing thing here is, with all these hyper-distorted characters, Stupid would you want people. to see the ladies without their clothes on? Just, you know. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Wow. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. On. Watcha! Hi! What's the rush? Hi! What's the rush? Hi! Hey, Hi. wait a minute. What's the rush? Hi! Oh, that's Raz. What's the rush? Hi. Oh, I speaking of Raz, some, I failed to mention the voice actor's name in the last episode here. I feel like there's something I'm going to need to do with those birds at some point. His name is Richard Steven Hovitz, and he is quite an experienced voice actor. He's been, in, and he's been, had some on-screen roles as well. Let's see, he's been in Ben 10, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Ratchet and Clank, Skylanders, Brutal Legend, EverQuest 2, Kim Possible, I mean tons of other stuff, but I'm just listening to a few things. Kim Possible, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, I guess is a character called Alpha. Uh, I've not seen the show, so... Forgive me, please! Actually, I have a friend who made costumes for that and Beetleborgs, though. He made, like, suits and monsters and stuff like that for it. Um, and his first gig was in a film called, or a TV show called Safe at Home as Gary Van Sickle. So, there you go. Now you know. Let's see. Ooh, that is inverted. That's not how I likes it. Options. Control. Okay. Guess I have to go back to the mouse for this part. And advanced. Nope. I wouldn't call that advanced personally, but let's see. Invert camera vertical. Wow, horizontal. I wouldn't have guessed. Invert first person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I am an inverted camera kind of guy. If I haven't mentioned it before, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it dozens of times before, though. So. Ah, that feels more natural. And that feels perfectly fine as well. They seem to all be in a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's sight. They seem to all. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. Hey, Chloe, what are you doing? The coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can turn it to reach my people in space. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Whoops. Sorry. She had some weird fingers. Am I crazy? Well, what's weird in this game, though, honestly? Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Oh no, I'm ready. I'm ready, sir. Well then... You're Come late, see. soldier! Now get in here and give me 20! <laughs> this is creeping me out. So it kind of reminds me of the Mighty Boosh. I think there's a couple episodes where they have doors on their, on their giant fro hair. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. 
Wow, what kind of dentist do you go to, kid? Office. That's a dentist. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. <laughs> Fighting! I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw! I warn you, once you do, the war is on! Ah, go. That's what I'm talking about! It's war! Now, I believe I charged ahead <laughs> to that point. <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed! A mental no, you know. course. I mean, hard. part it out, man. He's not Kill. dead. His That's astral great. projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here, too, if you don't get moving right now. Yep. Learn to jump. Oh, learn to double jump. And? Ah! Projecting, he's projecting a force barrier beneath his feet. Relax, mid -air. that's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whatever, come on, get that figment. All right, collecting figments, ranking yeah, up. Piggy, piggy. Roger. Who's coaching his little piggy? piggy. We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while keep your eyes peeled for a tag. Sorry about that. Could be anywhere. Whoa! That unless you rather go dropping at me funny right now! Is this gonna hurt me? Left. You hit that ladder hard, son. Show it who's boss. <laughs> this is this is an odd contrast to the battlefield experience. Oh, I found my tag. Thank you. Thank. Okay, so I guess that's just a collectible, and that's about it. Or there was some important information that I accidentally skipped. I mean, also an option, right? Oh, okay, that jumps away from the ladder. Let's be careful about that. Down we go. Now, let's see, does any of this hurt me? No, just barriers. I like that these are bandoliers. Bandolier ferns. Raz is a very spindly kid, but I guess he's a. My bowels move more than you do, Pokey. Oh, rude! Watch yes. out! Stinky. Fire down below! But I guess his experience is a circus performer. We here. We can't get past this. How did I get into this game? This I never met Tim hmm. Schaefer. Looks I just like a test. I need to talk to my agents There's about this. There's probably a secret more advanced. This is my likeness being used without my permission, although it is awesome. You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? Arizan, you have your answer now. You're by the way. stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Zilch's his foot. That's what. You stupid new kid. Yeah. So is that a giant head of hair, or is it some kind of bacterial culture? Oh, <laughs> thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm, no. All right, down we go. We have pigments to collect, my goodness. Classified route? Oh, hey! Wait a minute, okay. 
Probably want to get the rest of the figments up in that area before I take the classified route. I like that there is a classified route, though. I didn't know about that. At least get the ones that are readily available. Now check the classified route. Okay, I can just jump down there. No problems. Okay, a lot of figments in here, too. Whoa, hey now. It's gonna be a lot of up and down, I can tell here. There we go. And hey, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey. Hey, how did you even find me down here? This is classified. There we go. It's a little bit hard to judge your position in space in this game, I think because there's not a... The, the shadow doesn't read, at least in this area, the shadow doesn't read very well. That's how you can tell if you're gonna overshoot. Ah, cripes. Isn't it awesome that people have dogs? I don't know if you guys can hear the dogs there. All right, I like dogs. I don't think I've ever had a dog personally, but I like dogs. I don't have a, like a problem with like the concept of the dog or hanging out with the dog or being in love with the dog. The part where people like just leave their dogs outside all the time and ignore their barking and basically make it impossible for me to go in my backyard without, you know, if I make a noise in my backyard, I've got dogs barking in every direction. It's really just freaking, it's really discourteous. What the? There we go. Ah, dogs. Wait, I'm back here. Let's go back up. Mind overall. I believe that's. I believe that is what the live streamers were trying to tell me the Mentalis Uberalis translated to, which I believe to be the case. See, being sort of a completion hey, kind of guy, I kind of want to go back and get that other stuff, but let's make progress, shall we? Xbox 360 control is working really nicely for this. Give the shim a shim a shake. Joey. No. Cause I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya. You. You're talking too slow. <laughs> <laughs> I had a gym coach that called what? me Johnny Way Compass. More motivating. I didn't have a real good sense of orient. I, I think I got into line facing like slightly the wrong way, or I turned the wrong way during something. I love abusive teachers. That's awesome. You know, I don't need them to kiss my ass or anything, but it'd be nice if they didn't, you know, go out of the, like, the insult, the insult therapy there. Let's leave that to the professionals, not the jackass that his greatest accomplishment in his life is being able to run a mile in slightly less time than another jackass, and yet is still somehow a gym coach. I really feel sorry for those guys, though, because imagine if your greatest, greatest accomplishment in life is that you can run a little bit faster than a lot of people. Where does that leave you, you know, now, when you get into you your 30s and 40s? Down, sideways, whatever way you, want. you know, Just that's... Get on. <laughs> you're gonna be a sad, like a sad individual. Hey, slow down, kid. If you pass me your body, you'll make us look bad. Then Bobby it's will game day, kid! Bobby, can you hear me? Where are you? <laughs> Bobby's gone. We don't know what happened to him. He could be anywhere, even lying still at the bottom of my punji pit. <laughs> hey, Dogen, what's wrong? I keep blowing up. Foreshadowing? Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. Wow, he's easy going about that. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. I doubt it. I'll be lying down. Seriously. We're just gonna wait for this guy to come back around. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. <sighs> okay. That didn't work out. Come on, Dogen. Let's get with the program here, son. Get that real quick. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Hey, my okay. Bowels move more than you do, Pokey. Will we make it through the mines? Will Dogen's head explode, or will he take his hat it. off and explode mine? Find out next time in the thrilling conclusion. Well, no, the thrilling next installment of 
Game of the week. Psychonauts here on Verbal Processing. Cheers, everybody.